Hello, S Scott McKinney here. The, uh, they call me the uh, Batman Mathematician um, from edgemath.com and I'd like to share with you some uh, common mistake I've seen with a lot of students uh, uh, all, all the way from algebra students up to Calc 1 or Calc 2 students even and it's a common mistake that it cost uh, you know, a few points on test but it can be the difference between a B and an A or C and a B or or so and it's about um, square roots so uh, so we've got an expression the square root of x squared plus y squared under the square root and uh, what happens is uh, a lot of students will split up the square root they'll split the um, they'll split the root up into the summation so they bring the uh, like this they bring the square root down and split the sum up into x plus y so but we can uh, we can check a couple of examples to see if, uh, if this is actually true so check this out we've got a uh, square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared which simplifies to well, 9 plus 16 or square root of 25 which is just 5. So that's the correct way. But if we split into the, the square root of the 3 squared plus the square root of 4 squared, which is what a lot of people might do, maybe 20% or so, uh, then it's 3 plus 4, which is 7. So, so we can't do that. It's not, it's not the correct way. And so we can see why by by distributing out x plus y squared. Um, you might have seen FOIL or the front, outer, inner, last term way of distributing this out. But um, I like to uh, I like to promote reasoning and understand uh, why things work the way they do. So it's so you don't have to remember uh, or memorize a formula, but you understand where it comes from. This, this helps your reasoning skills, uh, problem solving skills uh, later down the road. But so if we split on, um, if we split x plus y squared into a square with sides x plus y, then the the area of the square is going to be the same as as quantity x plus y squared. And you can see we've got. Uh, let's see if we split it into x plus y. Well, that gives two squares with areas x squared and y squared. But then we have these leftover rectangles, um, each x, y. So we've got the area here is x, y. The length is x, width is y. So, so that gives x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, which is familiar from FOIL. And so, so we can we can actually bring the square root down because there's this middle term here, the two x y term. Uh, so we can't distribute the square down to the x and the y. Uh, there's a middle term that's hidden in there. And so in order to have the square root of something be x plus y, we need to have this we need to have this two x y term in the middle. It's just x squared plus y squared. That square root is not x plus y. So, so the square root of x squared plus y squared um, is not x plus y. We can't we can't bring the square root down like this. Uh, and there's no there's no easy way to simplify the square root. So if you see a square root like this, you're gonna need to, you'll need to do uh, other tricks to to handle it depending on the problem you're working on. And I think if you remember this on your tests or in the future, uh, it will help with uh, whatever you do down the road, either taking tests or if you end up being a rocket scientist, uh, it can help you uh, fly to the moon. And again, this is uh, Scott McKinney from Edge Math, and I hope you learned something from this, and feel free to contact me, uh, or leave uh, comments, uh, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.